welcome. It's great to have you here today. I'm Joel Pelsu, President of Arts and Entertainment Ministries. We mentor artists and creative professionals so they succeed creatively and grow spiritually. If God has called you into a creative career, we want you to know you're not alone. We invite you to check out our videos, our blog, and our online courses so you can get the clarity and confidence you need to work as a Christian in the arts, media, and entertainment industry. Whether you live in a small remote town or if you work in one of the major markets like LA, New York, or London. Before we jump in, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please take just one second, hit the like button, and then subscribe to our channel. That will help other people find our content. Now, Today I want to talk to you about why Christians should create art. Some of you watching right now have been told by people in the church that making art, media, or film isn't something Christians should be doing, or that it isn't important. I'm here to tell you right now to reject those views. Because they're wrong. God does care about art, and we know He calls some of His own people to be artists. So I hope you watch the video and are encouraged. If you have questions about your calling, I encourage you to check out our online course called The Artist Calling. You can find it in the links down below. Simply put, we create art because we are made in the image of God who inspires us to create. Whatever type of art you create, your creativity is anchored in these two truths. First, you are made in the image of God who created the universe, which inspires us. And second, God gave you a desire to create and communicate to those around you. But before we go any further, I want to clarify what is art. In essence, art is just a form of communication. In ancient history, it was cave paintings, poems, songs, and stories. Today, the choices range from Broadway musicals and plays to movies, video games, and even virtual reality. But no matter the type of art, the purpose is the same, to express ourselves and to communicate something to others in a creative way. If we, as a Christian community, don't create new works of art, it is as if we are bottling up a gift and refusing to share that gift with the world. Now, I'm not saying everyone who is a Christian is called to be an artist. That's ridiculous. We also need doctors, lawyers, teachers, political leaders who love Jesus and seek to do their work in a way that honors God. But everyone uses the creativity given to them by God. Some people may use their creativity in how they solve scientific problems or discover a cure for cancer or some other disease. Others will use that same creativity in finding new ways to teach students so they have greater character and wisdom as well as great knowledge. And even others will use their creativity in making their home beautiful and lovely to live in, which is a gift to everyone who enters that home. And still others will create grand works of art that speak to an entire generation. The opportunities to use our creativity to bless others and to do it in a fresh way are endless. Now let's move on to the second point. God gave us a mandate in Genesis to care for the garden and the cultures that arise as cities and civilizations develop. Theologians call this the cultural mandate. And I explain this further in our online courses and in our blog, but here's the point. Not only do we have the desire to create because we're made in the image of God, but God commanded us and commissioned us as his ambassadors on earth to care deeply about all aspects of culture. We're to care about how our society treats people, seeking to ensure that we treat all people with dignity precisely because they are also made in the image of God. God has called us to care about the priorities and the principles that govern our society, to vote and to serve our city and country in a way that honors God. And God has called us to care about the art created and celebrated at the very center of our culture. Christians should be creating the art that inspires our communities and cultures. Why? <laughs> because the art of our culture influences the direction the culture is going. This was true in ancient Israel, and it is true today. This brings me to my third point. God forms and transforms cultures through art, symbols, anthems, and stories. This is part of the very fabric of God's Word, of which most Christians, sadly, are just not aware. Take a look with me at the book of Exodus. God, for the first time, was creating His own nation. He rescued them from slavery 
in Egypt, and he needed to transform his people from a life of slavery and dependency on Pharaoh to a nation living in a covenant relationship with a holy, loving God. This is the whole point of the book of Exodus. But how did God transform his people, the nation of Israel? Well, first, God gave them the law through Moses. We know about this, the Ten Commandments. Then God gave them the artwork through an artist named Bezalel. He gave them the tabernacle, the Ark of the Covenant, incense, anointing oil, priestly robes decorated with golden threads, precious jewels. They had a calendar of feasts and celebrations to remember the stories of what God has done for them and to express their thankfulness to God. All of the arts were utilized and embraced in this new Israelite nation. You could say God knew how to get their attention. He brought them to their senses by engaging all of their senses through various forms of art. From sight and sound to smell of incense, the taste of the food of feasts, and inspiring storytellers, and the sound of musicians that led them in song. To deny the importance of art in the very establishment of God's people is to deny God's very own method for forming his own people, the nation of Israel. This is because God created you and I in such a way that we're inspired by the songs, the visual imagery, the stories, and the annual dramas we celebrate. Whether it was the feast and customs of ancient Israel or the worship liturgies and celebration of communion today, God has always invited us into his story, his drama, and used the symbols of bread, wine, the cross, the tomb, the temple, the songs we sing, the words of God we celebrate, and the Ark of the Covenant. So why should Christians create art? Create art because it is what God has given us a desire to do, and it is what he calls us to do. He gave us creativity and then called us to imitate his creativity. He has shown us in Scripture how a godly community is built around an annual calendar that celebrates who God is, what he has done for us, and he has called us in the cultural mandate to bless our own communities and cultures with songs, artwork, stories, and celebrations. This is how societies learn to celebrate that which is true and that which is good and that which is beautiful. They need believers like you to enter the dialogue through art. But how will the world understand if God's people will not write novels that grip society's imagination and movies that will reveal the godlessness of their hearts and music that will invite them to see clearly how good, loving, and faithful is the Lord God Almighty? Think about this. Why did C.S. Lewis write the Chronicles of Narnia? Or J.R. Tolkien write Lord of the Rings? And why did Flannery O'Connor write profound short stories? These great writers saw the power of the arts to reach into the hearts of believers as well as to the lost and speak to them about biblical truths in a fresh and powerful way. If O'Connor wrote nice stories of rural life, and if Tolkien and Lewis only wrote academic books, Many of us would never have heard their names, and popular culture would never have been exposed to the gospel story in a way that millions have been exposed through the books and watching the movies made from these works. We are not inspired by arguments. We're inspired by stories, parables, music, and movies that ignite the imagination. This is how it has always been, and this is how it always will be. There's no other option Christians must be making the art that speaks to their own community to inspire them about what the Spirit is doing afresh today. And Christians must make art to speak to their culture about God and about what God says is true and good and beautiful. So if I can be honest with you, the real question should not be, why should Christians create art? The real question is, what are you going to create to speak to your generation? And if you're not an artist, then which artist will you support as they seek to use their gifts to honor God and speak into our culture? God will call some to be great artists. He will call others to be generous patrons. The question is not whether Christians should create art. The real question is what you and I will do to support the artists living among us today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Again, please take just one moment hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so more people can find our content. Check links down below to subscribe to our emails and learn about our online courses. And as always, 
Place any comments or questions down below, and I look forward to continuing the conversation.